every year I redraw the first piece of digital art that I ever made, and this year's redraw turned out to be an interesting reflection on my art goals over the past few months. Hi everyone, I'm Muse, and welcome back to Confused Muse Art. This channel is where I share my art journey, and I hope that you'll share yours with me. One thing that I've done pretty consistently over the past several years of my art journey is redraw the very first piece of digital art I ever made, which is a fan art of Frisk from Undertale that I first drew in January of 2016. As some of you might know from my old Meet the Artist video, I used to draw a lot growing up, but then I stopped drawing regularly when I went to college. And I didn't pick it back up again until over a half a decade later when I was so excited and inspired by Undertale that I had to draw something for it. That resulted in my first ever digital artwork that I drew, and I used free software and the trackpad on my laptop, which, uh, <laughs> that was fun for Liner, let me tell you. <laughs> Anyway, over that next year I saw a bunch of art challenges and I really liked the Draw This Again challenge. So I redrew that fan art in 2017 and was kind of amazed when I put them next to each other because that was the first time I could actually see my progress. Since I'm staring at my own art all the time, it's kind of hard to see improvement unless I actually look back at older work and being able to see how far I'd come in about a year was mind-boggling but motivating. So I redrew it again last year and was surprised again because I had felt that I hadn't made that much progress, but then seeing the change in the level of detail between 2017 to 2018 made me feel that I was on the right track. If you've ever done a redraw yourself, let me know in a comment below this video, and if you've posted it online, share the link, because I really like seeing progress photos of other people's art, and it's a really great reminder that no matter where your skill level is at, you're always growing and changing as long as you're putting the effort in. So going into this year, I planned on doing another redraw in January, which, to put it lightly, the timing did not work out as, as I am recording this, it is August. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it did give me an interesting chance to see my priorities and my art sort of shift over the year. I had a very basic sketch for this piece of art at the beginning of the year, but I was not happy with how it was turning out. So I decided to focus more on the feeling that I was trying to portray in that original piece back in 2016. I changed the pose from a front-facing view to a three-quarters view, mostly just to turn off the critic in my head about how I was messing up the face. Front views are an interesting struggle for me as I'm still learning basic proportions and anatomy. So I think I'll return to front-facing for a future redraw, probably next year, but I wanted to move on from the sketch and playing a bit more to my comfort zone was the best way to do that at that time. I also ended up using the pose doll that's available inside of Clip Studio for the first time and roughed out a pose using it as a reference because I wanted to go for a bit more realism in Frisk's proportions. And I've used reference more heavily in this last year and have learned a lot more about how to use reference and the pose doll in particular helped me figure out exactly how I wanted to position Frisk's arms instead of redrawing the rough sketch over and over and over again and not knowing if I was getting any closer to what I wanted to portray. For the heart, at first this shape was a placeholder because I was thinking of making it the pixel heart from the game like I did in the 2018 redraw, but as I got into the coloring portion with light and shading, I really enjoyed the effect, so I kept it the way it was. Speaking of the coloring, I had a blast with this one once I started playing with the lighting. All of my redraws have used the same base palette with a couple of edits on the colors of the shirt because I felt that the saturation of the purple was just a little too much. It works well in the original game sprite, but for a dramatically shaded piece, I have to consider the tones a bit more and the purple needed to calm down. <laughs> But aside from that, any changes in color that you see compared to previous redraws are due to color correction layers or the shading and lighting layers that I put on top of the base colors. And for this piece, I debated with myself a lot on how much shading I wanted to put in because my original intent back in 2016 was for the heart glow to be the only light source in an otherwise very dark piece. And I feel that I finally captured that feeling in this redraw. 
The result is that putting this piece alongside the others makes this one look very dark, but finally being able to get that atmosphere that I wanted to capture back in 2016 makes me really, really happy. Comparing this piece to the other redraws, I can see where focusing on my fan comic has influenced my art. I like the way that Frisk's hair came out in the 2018 piece a little bit more than I do in this one because I feel like the hair in the 2018 redraw has more movement and feels more natural, which is something I want to try and bring back into my current style because you can see in my newest redraw how I'm simplifying the hair shapes, which is something that I have to do in the design for my comic because so much goes into a comic page and I cannot spend a ton of time on hair rendering, unfortunately. And for comics, the simpler the shape and the faster you can draw it, the better. <laughs> but that said, I am still very happy with how the shading and the reflection on the hair turned out in this redraw. I also talked earlier about using references and learning how to better use references has helped my art. And you can really see this compared to the original 2016 piece, which in that one, I traced those hands from a free resource that I, I no longer remember the name or the location of. And you can see that I really didn't know how in the world to shade what I had traced. <laughs> and in the 2017 version, I took photos of my hands and tried to copy from the photos as best as I could. Not a direct trace, but you could see that I didn't really know how to translate the reference into the art. And I'm still learning how best to use references, but I think I made some good progress this year in not just using reference, but also starting to learn anatomy and with hands specifically, learning more about the bone structure and how hands move helps me better understand what I'm looking at when I use reference and do a better job at translating it into my art. And that's another redraw in the books. It's really fun to be able to look back over the past several years of learning digital art and learning about art in general. And it's something that I absolutely want to keep doing. Since I finished this redraw far later in the year than I originally planned, I don't think I'll be doing another one in January since that's only a few months away. But I think I'm going to try the next one around June or July next year. It'll be fun to come back and see what will change from this piece on into the future. And again, if you've ever done a redraw yourself, please let me know in the comments and link it if you can. If you enjoyed watching the speed paint, I did the vast majority of the line art and the coloring for this piece on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash confusedmuse. There is a link in the description below. If you enjoy chill art streams, please consider checking it out. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter, and you can find all of those links in the description as well. I also make tutorial videos for Clip Studio Paint, and if you're interested in a more detailed look on how I made the heart glow in this piece, then you'll want to check out my glow tutorial. Please consider liking the video if you liked it and subscribing to see more videos where I talk about my art process. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye!